Okay, again, I start off with the pencil sketch, charcoal sketch. Start off with the bigger shapes, proportions. Then I go in and put in the features like the nose, the eyes, the mouth, the ear. And then I grab the ink and brush and I'm putting in the values. Notice how I always start off with the darks and work my way towards the lights. While establishing a background early to help me better judge the tones on the face. Now I decided again to use this drawing to transfer onto the board that I'm going to paint on. So I smear charcoal on the back of the paper. Look, I tape that drawing onto that board. And then now I'm using a pencil and I'm kind of pressing into the drawing again, going over it one more time. And that's creating a stamp that's going to show up on the wood underneath. Now here's the finished ink drawing and pencil drawing. There it is. And this on its own is a cool picture too. All right, now we have our board with that stamped charcoal drawing, but because that charcoal is really soft, it'll smear. So I grab ink and brush again, and I go over my drawing so that I can paint on it. And again, notice how I always start off with the darks and then the middle tone, and then eventually towards the, to the white. Now I, with my uh, acrylic paint, I went and first put the darkest element, which is that under that shirt he's wearing. And then I put in the background. Okay, then I put a tone for the face. And then again, I put the darks in. And the middle darks. And then the middle tone. And then the middle light. Then you'll see, then I get the lighter colors. Not white, but a lighter color. Put that in, and then now with even lighter color. This picture is in grayscale so far. This is the underpainting. This will probably take more than one session. And you'll see how I work layer through layer. Start off with the darks and then go towards the lights. Start off with the darks and then go towards the lights. And see also it has a geometric feel to it. Now this is going to pretty much establish the uh, monochrome stage of the painting. The grisaille stage. A page, you know, the painting in gray or monochrome. Mono meaning one chrome color. Here's the monochrome finish. And again, this on its own is a cool painting, but we're going to paint over this. We're going to color it. So look, we're just going to get a brown, a reddish brown burnt sienna, really thinly. So we're not covering the picture, just like a see-through wash. And then again, I take my brush and I establish my darks. Make sure I got a nice background. The background is important because it helps you judge all the other parts of the face or picture. And then now I get my light color again because my darks are established my middle tones are established now i begin to work the lights and the lights are generally the only place i paint thickly or rather the lights are always thicker you see and because i had the drawing done in the beginning i don't have to worry about fixing the proportions or fixing the drawing when those elements are established early you'll find that it's a lot more enjoyable and easier to work on the picture okay and this is what we have so far we're about halfway through with this project Stay tuned for part two where we complete this painting. Thanks.